Hello, hello, welcome back to the Meepo Station Let's Play. Uh, last time, Osbury, our scientist, turned into a octopus thing. And now we're gonna figure out uh, what's going on there. So, let's see, what our, our objective is to have the scientist research. I think we started that last time. Make sure that's going. And... In the meantime, I guess it's back to sprucing everything up. Let's check on our meeples. I know last time... Who was it? It was Squid that was having an issue. Uh, he looks very stressed out, but it looks like he's finally eaten and had some sleep. So... I might give him a little bit more time just to de-stress and then uh, reassign him job and I think I'm gonna remove this from his room just so others don't come in and disturb him hit some kind of milestone in our observations. A group of native squid things visited the station. They immediately in entered the station and went straight to Osprey. They seem drawn to him. He seems to think he can interact with them. Interesting. Aww. He grabs two little squids with his tentacles and hugs them tightly against his sides. Puts the squids back down on the floor and retrieves his marker from the clipboard. They are things I feel. Interesting. Maybe it's like the pictures and head from somewhere else or something. Not wildlife sentient complex. Not talk with words, pictures, feelings, difficulty learning. Osprey suddenly looks down to one of the little squids who looked up at him. They lock eyes and stare into each other for a long time. It feels want. What does it want? Image hat? Osprey turns to Kitten and points the tentacle to the officer's cap. Ooh, it wants my hat? Osprey nods. Her, why not? Here. The little squid takes the hat in two of its tentacles and places it on top of its head. It starts flailing its tentacles around in the air excitedly and runs over to the other little squids. They happy. Theory? Have a theory? Their thoughts, simple amusement, curiosity, warm sun, theory, little squids equals children. Osby rubs a tentacle thoughtfully along what would be his chin. He shrugs. Maybe? Starlight is food. Need nothing else. Convenient feed freeing. Want arms tinkle go. Mystery to me. Also convenient freeing. Interesting. Magic flying powers are amazing, I bet. Amazing, yes. You win bet. <laughs> Think CPT. I'll check back in a few days. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> Alright, so I think... I think... These squids might be the older meeples that have adapted to space, basically. And maybe the little squids are their children or something. So our objective is hyperdump to the next system again. Okay. Uh, let's make sure we have everyone <laughs> inside first. Oh no. Okay. Who has moderate stress? I mean, it's gotta be... Oh, where is he, squid? because I'm not seeing anyone else that's having an issue. Well, let's charge up the hyperdrive.
Let's initiate the hyper jump. Dun -dun -dun. Hello. The moment that the station arrived, Osprey became overwhelmed by the magnitude of the being's presence. Oh no. I see you found the machine, lost one. Forgive my words, millennia of dis... No hours. A torrent of memories follows like a hurricane. Yep, the therapy adapted your ancestors to life and space, opened a doorway to understanding that laid bare the secrets of the very building blocks of life. The changes to the genetic code started with small things. They reached a turning point once they had permanently stopped the biological process by which their cells degraded with age. They ended once that ended once they no longer required oxygen, atmospheric pressure, warmth, or sustenance. Everything they needed they drank through their exteriors from raw starlight. The music's so scary. <laughs> Given endless time, they accomplished things they never before in nature. They swam through the void upon waves of repulsive gravity they produced from within their bodies. They spoke to each other wordlessly through the vacuum of space. They shared their thoughts and emotions with one another directly. That must be the doctor, though. Gone were all barriers that separated individual thought throughout their entire history. They received an unforeseen gift that their perfect homeworld would have never been able to provide them with. With every need permanently satiated, a new adventure was discovered in the heart of their species to explore the universe in the flesh. To frolic in the void under naked starlight. To share a journey through the wonder and beauty of the infinite possibilities of the cosmos with one another. To grow wise and old and bask in the warmth of uncomfortable... of... what? Have drunk starlight for an age and have grown large and old. Since I was called... Wakayu. Now I'm only one of the ancient nameless titans that carries the memories of our race. So many souls were lost during the de the day of We tried many things to survive it. Most undertakings failed. Full of hope, your ancestors rode on a colony ship destined for candidate world that not saving. We lost you. We lost so many. I am one of the few remaining who remembers the heartbreak of that time. We built the machine for the lost. Should any ever return, but they could also know what it is to be complete. Like all those people I left behind in space? <laughs> It's the one last thing that we built before ascending. Little squiddies. The rest of your species will struggle with whether to make this change as you and I have. Though you received the change by accident, you can bridge the understanding between our kind and save it. Sevani. Sevani? The decision is theirs to take the leap. Should they choose to leap, we will guide them and show them the wonders of the cosmos. Should they choose to remain as they are, we will travel alongside them and help where it is possible. 
We are only glad to welcome you home, lost one. Babe, I'm gonna cry! A warmth of emotion fills Osprey. The Elder Titan is overwhelmed with joy of a reunion thousands of years in the making. I will travel with your station to Savin so that you may return to them the answers they reached out across half a galaxy to find. Um, we have much to do. Babe, I'm gonna cry. No, it's over and it's emotional. 